It has been two days now since Paul DeWolf of Schoolcraft was found in a pool of blood in his fraternity house at the University of Michigan. Since noon, we have learned that he was killed by a single gunshot wound. No weapon has been found. And today, 24 Hour News 8's Tom Hillen went to Ann Arbor and talked with neighbors there as the university says they're stepping up police patrols. Tom's live right now on the phone with us. What did we find out down there today, Tom? Well, Brian, the people I spoke with said that it's a very safe neighborhood. They were shot. They find it very unusual what happened there. I can tell you that that neighborhood is very similar to Heritage Hill in Grand Rapids, as in there are very large homes, and most of them have been turned into apartments. So there are several apartments per home in that area. But when we were there today, there were people walking, running, riding their bikes. And I actually spoke with uh, two women that live next door to where this homicide happened, and they said they didn't hear or see anything unusual. But again, they are shocked because of how this neighborhood normally operates. They say it's very safe. They never feel concerned when they're out and about walking around, so they were very shocked to hear what happened. We've also learned from police that, that uh, Paul DeWolf's apartment appeared to be in order and that no valuables that were in there appeared to be have or appear to have been removed from that apartment. So those are new details emerging about the case as well today. There are still a lot of unanswered questions surrounding this. One of the main things is why. That's what a lot of people are asking. But again, the who in this as well. So far, police have not released any sort of a suspect description. Live on the phone in Ann Arbor, Tom Hillen, 24-Hour News 8.